okay, from the video. Today, I got the box of pennies. So, I was looking at these. I see some 1960s. I mean, yeah, 1960s and 1970s. No wheat penny enders, but this one looks like it might be one. So, you guys can just go ahead and stay with me for this. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and open the first roll live, and then I'm going to uh, pause the video, and if I find something, I will tune you guys in. But we'll see what we have in this roll. It looks good. It looks like a lot of coppers. Hopefully, this will be uh, a good box. The most sweet pennies that I've had in one box is uh, four. But hopefully, that can change. There's a uh, two, that's uh, another copper, another copper. Okay, at least we'll get some copper out of this, if nothing else. Another copper, another copper, another copper, wow. Another copper. Another copper. 1964. That's a decently old one. Uh, yep. Copper. Uh, oh, wow. I found a wheat penny already. So, um... Hard to see, but it's a 1952 no mint mark penny. So I definitely say that this is going to be a good box. Let me guys just point this out to you. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 coppers, and one wheat penny in the first roll. I think this is going to be a good box. I will tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Wow, you guys. Literally, the second penny I look at, this is the second roll. 1956 wheat penny. So, each of those are worth five points on my uh, coin grading skill, so that puts it already at an average box at, uh, in the first two rolls, but I will uh, tune you guys back in if I find anything else. Alright okay, guys, so I'm not really sure if this is anything, but right here it's an off-center strike. You can see it like right like right on that side. You can see it a little bit if you know what I'm talking about. If you guys have any idea uh, like if that's valuable or anything, I'm gonna leave it right here so I'll be able to know where it is. But I just wanted to, uh, to let you guys know about that. I'll tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Same rule. Uh, 1959 G. Pretty close to a, uh, a wheat penny. Just one year off. It's the last year wheat penny. But just wanted to let you guys know about that. I will tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys, so I was uh, going through this, and I figured I'd tell you about it after I finished the roll. But I found a Canadian penny and another Canadian penny, so I got I decided to just to go ahead and tell you guys about it. So, that's interesting. There are two Canadian pennies in the same roll. Maybe they just got mixed up between someone's change. I don't know, but I'll tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys, so I found another off-center strike. Um, it's a 1991. I'm just going to keep these to the side. And maybe do something with them later. But I just wanted to do, let you guys know about that. I'll tune you guys back in when I find something else. Okay, guys, so I think this is going to be one of my best... Uh, boxes so far. Just found a nineteen fifty two uh, Canadian penny. So I think 
maybe whoever this is could have been from Canadian or Canadian Canada. I'm sorry, I was just confused. Um, but it is a King George, so that counts as five points on my scale. So I will guys, I will tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys, I'm really starting to believe that this person could definitely be from Canada. Found another Canadian penny. That's the fourth Canadian penny. This is making me lose money. And very small amounts. Because Canadian money isn't as worth as much as our money. But I'm still going to keep I was gonna keep it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But let me show you. I'm keeping my copper coins in here. And this is the, the seventh roll. And that's how many copper coins I already have. So that's interesting, but I'm going to tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay guys, so this is a pretty good roll. So, I found a wheat penny, a 1944 Philadelphia mint mark. And I found another Canadian penny. So, it's pretty, pretty good. So, in total, that'll be 15, um, 16, 20, 25 points for the box, which is a good box. And once I get over 40 po points, it's an amazing box. So, I think I'm going to make it there, because this is looking like to be a pretty good box. And this hope, and hopefully my vending machine starts making more money, because I'm... Taking a lot of money out in copper. See, look. That's how much we already have in the, uh, I think, 11th roll. Yeah, that was 11th roll. So, I'm going to tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys. So, I found another Canadian penny. That sure is a lot of Canadian pennies. That's one, two, three, four, five, six I found in total. Which means that there was at least one in every, I mean, in one in every other roll. But I'll tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Guys, I don't know what it is yet, but I just opened this roll and I see a wheat penny. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I don't know what date that is. Let me check. It's a 1951D. So that's another uh, five points on our board. Um, I will. There might be a part two to this because I'm. Look, it looks like I might run out of time, like a, or storage for videotaping. But I will tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys, just doing a quick copper update. That's how much copper I have. That's a lot of copper for just... I haven't even made it halfway through the box. And I've found... Uh, four wheat pennies. That's the most I've ever found. Uh, I mean, like, four is the most I've ever found. I'm not, only, I'm not even halfway through the box yet. But... Um, I'll tune you guys back in whenever I find something else. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to end the video here because I'm about to run out of uh, space to do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to upload this. I'm going to edit it and upload it. So, uh, I can film the other part too. Uh, whenever that video does come out. this Or, this video does come out. I will be working on the other one, and I'll delete this video after it's uploaded, so I can, uh, so I can get some, like, space to film the other video with, but the finds at the end of the video were a 1951D Wheat Penny, 1952 Philadelphia Wheat Penny, 1956D Wheat Penny, 1944, uh, 1944 Penny, Philadelphia, 1959D, and we have, uh, 
1982 Canadian, Canadian Penny, 1989 Canadian Penny, 1997 Canadian Penny, 1980 Canadian Penny, 1985 Canadian Penny, and 1952 Canadian Penny. Uh, that'll be it, it. That'll be it for this video. Um, here's the amount of copper I have at the end of the video, so you can judge that to whenever I finish the second part. There might even be three parts of the video, but. I wanted to uh, just go ahead and end the video. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.